Welcome to another Whispers from the Wood. In this episode, I've come to a churchyard near my home to give you a look at an ancient veteran tree. It's just over here. And here he is, and he's an absolute beauty. This is the Gresford Yew, and I'm at the All Saints Parish Church in Gresford near Wrexham. And this is a famous yew, it's a yew that has got stories attached to it. It's estimated to be around 1,600 years old, and if that's right, then it's around the same time as the church was first sighted here. Now, when I referred to this tree, I said he, and it is a male tree, this one. With yew trees, the male and female trees are separate. So with the male trees, you get the flowers, which we're just starting to see the signs of now, ready for spring. And on the female trees, you get those bright ovular red berries that you might be familiar with. And those berries are deadly poisonous. In 1842, the girth of this tree was measured around the base, and it was said to be 22 foot in diameter. Of course, since then, it's got even larger, and it's even wider in its girth, where the branches start to split apart and form this huge crown, with several trunks reaching up and outward to the sky. Now, there are plenty of other yews planted all about this churchyard, and we know from the records that they were planted in 1726, so this one here is by far the oldest specimen and predates them all. Now, like all good veteran trees, this one has a story attached to it. And if it's true, it means that this tree is even older than is estimated. The story goes that around 350 AD, there was a Roman soldier stationed in Chester. And when he died, his widow brought the body here and he was buried on this spot with a carved stone placed on top. And then a yew tree was placed on top of the site and that's what stands today. Now many could say that this story is a bit far-fetched and how do we know it's even true? Well, there is a bit of evidence to possibly back it up. We mentioned the carved stone before. Well, in the church here, they found a carved stone from a Roman altar. And that altar was to the goddess Nemesis. So that was from a Roman shrine. So whether that was here or whether it was brought in from elsewhere, we don't know. But perhaps that's the stone that the Roman widow put on top of the grave. Now this particular yew, although a beautiful veteran, is not the oldest living tree in Britain. And you might well ask, well, what is the oldest living tree in Britain? Well, it is going to be a yew, there's no doubt about that, but which yew is it? And the answer to that question is something that's very hotly contested. Because there are yew trees in Britain, still living, which are believed to be as old as three, maybe even 5,000 years old, which is staggering if you think about it, still going today and a lot of those are here in Wales. And one of the ones that is kind of up there as perhaps the oldest living yew in Britain is down in Powys in Wales. And that's at St Kinnog's Church in the graveyard there. As you can see, my son is absolutely riveted by the subject of ancient trees. <laughs> now the yew tree played a vital role back in history. The wood was highly prized, especially when they could get a lovely straight stave, because from those staves they would make the yew bow. And wouldn't you know, I've got one right here, which is my own yew bow. And it's a beautiful piece of craftsmanship here, and you can see the lovely golden colour of the sapwood, and then the darker, almost red colour of the heartwood of the yew. Here's a cross section of the yew wood, and you can see that it's very finely grained, very smooth. And here's the sap wood, that yellow colour, and the heart wood, that deep, rich, red-brown colour. And the bows were made with a little bit of either wood, and it was the compression between the two that gave the bow its power when the arrow was released. And it was the archers using bows like this that were the deciding factor between victory and defeat. It's good to know that the locals also haven't forgotten the importance of this beautiful tree. Here's the local pub, appropriately named the Yew Tree. It's amazing when you think how much history this living thing has seen in its time. 
all the changes it's seen. It's stood here, living, slowly growing, minding its own business. It's been through wars, it's been through famines, plagues, pandemics, and it's still here. And that's very comforting. There's a message there that nature carries on, nature finds a way through, and we're part of nature. So whatever we are facing in our lives, we can take comfort from these ancient veterans that have seen it all and lived through it. And long may it live for many years to come. And I'll see you soon for another Whispers from the Wood.